Good day, grade 7 learners! Today, we will talk about determining between which two integers the square root of a number lies. After going through this module, you are expected to determine between what two integers the square root of a number lies. I am Teacher Join Me, and I will be with you for this another Mathematic episode. Before we start, kindly prepare your module your pen and paper to write your solutions and answers as we progress with our discussion. Also, look for a place in your home where you feel comfortable and safe. And most importantly, prepare yourself to watch and listen carefully. In your previous lesson, you have learned how to describe the principal root if it is rational or irrational. Now, let us recall that Perfect squares are numbers that have rational numbers as square roots. In other words, the square roots of perfect squares are always rational numbers. Specifically, we have perfect square integers. In this preliminary activity, I want you to complete the table by identifying the perfect square integers from number 2 to number 15. Number 1 was already done for you. You may pause the video while answering. Let's have some examples. First, square root of 12. Is 12 a perfect square integer? Definitely not. So what we're going to do is to find two perfect square integers where 12 is in between of them. Now, by looking at this illustration, which among these numbers are the two perfect square integers where 12 is in between of them? Very good. So we have 9 and 16. Take the square root of these numbers. So the principal root of square root of 9 is 3 and the principal root of square root of 16 is 4. Thus, square root of 12 lies between 3 and 4. Next, square root of 18. Since 18 is not a perfect square integer, we will look at two perfect square integers where 18 lies in between. Now by looking at this illustration, which among these numbers are the two perfect square integers where 18 is in between of them? Correct. So we have 16 and 25. Taking the square root of these numbers will give us square root of 16 to be 4 and square root of 25 to be 5. Thus, 
square root of 18 lies between 4 and 5. Next, square root of 40. Since 40 is not a perfect square integer, then let's have this illustration. Which among these numbers are the two perfect square integers where 40 lies in between? Alright, so we have 36 and 49. Extracting their square roots, we have square root of 36 equals 6 and square root of 49 equals 7. Therefore, square root of 40 lies between 6 and 7. Next, square root of 200. 200 is not a perfect square integer. So by looking at this illustration, which among these numbers are the two perfect square integers where 200 lies in between? Alright, so we have 196 and 225. Take the square root of these numbers. Since the principal root of square root of 196 is 14, and the principal root of square root of 225 is 15, then square root of 200 lies between 14 and 15. For our last example, we have square root of 175. Obviously, 175 is not a perfect square integer also. So we will just apply the same process we did with the previous examples. By looking at this illustration, which among these numbers are the two perfect square integers where 175 is in between of them? Alright, so we have 169 and 196. Take the square root of these numbers. Since the principal root of square root of 169 is 13, and the principal root of square root of 196 is 14, then square root of 175 lies between 13 and 14. Now to check your understanding of this lesson, try answering the following questions for your practice. Number 1. Between which two integers does square root of 20 lie? Number 2. Between which two integers does square root of 75 lie? And number 3. Between which two integers does square root of 247 lie? You may pause the video while answering. Are you now ready to check your answers? Okay then, let's start with number 1. Between which two integers does square root of 20 lie? Alright, the answer is 4 and 5. Number 2. Between which two integers does square root of 75 lie? Very good, the answer is 8 and 9. And number 3. Between which two integers the square root of 247 lie. Yes, it is 15 and 16. Congratulations, grade 7 learners. That was indeed a job well done. And that ends our lesson today. See you on our next Mathematic episode. Keep safe!